Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 269, K radius sub array averages. Um, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join, uh, give Larry some love, and join me on Discord, uh, where a lot of smart people are hanging out. Uh, and sometimes I am one of the, not today, now. But uh, anyway, th this problem is K radius sub array averages. Um, so the idea behind this one, there are a couple of ways you can do it. Um, I actually th thought about doing it with um, with sliding windows and you know the the intuition between behind sliding windows is kind of you know straightforward um, but I thought that there may be more edge cases I don't know if that's true but um, but that was my thing so I actually end up implementing with prefix sum I did this in about four minutes I think if I had done it prefix sum to begin with would have been faster but I, I was I was trying to make sliding windows work in my code um, so Okay, so I've been throwing a lot of terms around what is sliding windows, what is, uh, um, yeah, what is sliding windows, what is uh, prefix sum, right? So sliding windows, you just basically have a left point and a right point, and you move them one at a time. So in this case, you would, um, you know, minus seven and then plus two to move it from the red to the blue and so forth. Um, that, that is, that's pretty straightforward and pretty um, common. Uh, I think for me, the reason why I end up with prefix sum is because of time consideration. I just wanted to implement it with as few t uh, edge cases as possible, as few if statements. And for me, that's what I thought during the contest. I mean, it may not be true, but during the contest, you know, you have a couple of minutes of trying to do as much as you can, right? So that's my logic there. Um, but either way, it's fine. Uh, and if you do have have trouble with sliding windows, there are easier variations of this. So definitely play around with that. But I don't think this one is too difficult for you to try. Um, it might just take you a while if you're struggling. Um, but I'm going to go over my prefix sum solution. Um, but yeah, but basically the prefix sum, um, we go over it a lot in previous videos. So definitely check those out. And if you struggle with prefix sum, also practice prefix sum problems. I don't know. I think this one's pretty straightforward though with, with respect for prefix sum. Um, but basically, we keep track of... Um, so the prefix sum will give me the first... the sum of the first x... Uh, uh, the first i number. Uh, so then here, we can get the total of between index i and j um, by, you know, subtracting the prefix of that prefix sum, right, which is what we have here. Um, and so we just have to, we just have to check that, you know, this is inbound, inbound, and then we get the sum of the, the, the middle chunk, and then we divide it into integer division um, by the number that is inside that list, and there you go. Otherwise, it's negative one, of course. Um, of course, this is going to be linear time, linear space. If you have done it with sliding windows, and if you do it very carefully, um, you can actually do it in all of one space. Um, so definitely practice that. Um, well, sorry. Well, it's going to be linear space anyway, because that's the size of the answer. But you're going to be able to do it in all of one extra space in addition to the output. Um, so, so yeah. Um, whew. Uh, that's all I have for this one, I think. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and you could watch me solve a live during the contest. Next. Computer service having issues. But okay, let's go. Um,
Yes. Mm. I don't know if this is what maybe. Yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, anyways, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, uh, and take care. Bye-bye.